All right, so here we're going to look at another example using the root test. So in part b, we've got from 1 to infinity, negative 1 to the n times n to the n over 3n to the third plus 1. The first thing I'm going to do is rewrite this a little bit. We can break up the denominator. Um, instead of 3 raised to the n to the third plus 1 power, we can write that as 3 raised to n to the third times 3 to the first power. Okay, again, if we have like bases, we would add the exponent, so we would certainly get all of this stuff right back. And the one third, you know, the over three, you can think about that as being a one third, which is just a constant, so I'm going to factor that out. And again, just the reason for doing that is um, it's nice if the powers are just, if, if the exponents are sort of just to the nth power or into a, an exponent, it'll be much easier, I think, to uh, simplify things down. You know, I don't think it would be the end of the world if you didn't do this, but to me it'll be a little cleaner. So um, I'm just going to look at this part now. You know, if this series converges, when you multiply it by one-third, it converges. If it diverges, when you multiply it by one-third, it's going to diverge. So we'll take the limit as n goes to infinity. We'll take the absolute value of negative 1 to the n, n raised to the n, and then 3 raised uh, to the n to the third power. Again, we'll, in the nth root will take that to the 1 over n power. Well, when we take the absolute value, the only thing that would happen is the negative 1 to the n would be gone. So we would have n to the n over 3 to the n cubed raised to the 1 over n. But let's see, if we take n to the n power and uh, raise that to the 1 over n power, again, we just multiply exponents. So n times 1 over n is going to give us an n to the first in the numerator. In the denominator, we're going to have, um, let's see, so we would have n cubed divided by n. So that would leave us with 3n squared in the denominator. Well, um, the derivative of this is going to be, is going to be um, well, I guess we should say first, the limit of this is going to be infinity over infinity. So we can certainly use uh, L'Hopital's rule here. So if we take the derivative of this, if we think about this as being, you know, um, just in terms of derivatives, well, the derivative of n to the first would be 1. This is like an exponent or an exponential function, 3 raised to some function. Well, when we take the derivative, it'll repeat itself, so we'll get 3 to the n squared. We get the natural logarithm of the base. But then we also have to, uh, by the chain rule, take the derivative of the exponent, so we'll get 2 to the n. Well, now as n goes to infinity, the denominator is definitely going uh, to infinity. The numerator is just 1. So this limit's going to equal 0. So now we've justified um, that our limit's 0. Well, that's certainly less than 1, and that would tell us that our series converges. So again, down in the bottom, all I'm using is the, the formula a to the f of x. If we have uh, you know a raised to something, the derivative of that is a raised to the f of x times the natural logarithm of a times f prime of x. That's how I'm getting, again, the derivative of the bottom, just in case you've forgotten uh, this little formula.